man, it has been quite some time since I've been this disgusted with a football team. But Green Bay managed to do it. They managed to do it for the third straight year. They found a way to choke. They did it again. They really did it. <laughs> wow. I'm so disgusted. I'm so disgusted right now with the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, do yourself a favor, man. You can leave, man. You can leave. This franchise ain't worth your time right now. Leave. Do yourself a favor. Leave. Denver, Pittsburgh, wherever the hell you want to go, go look for employment somewhere else. Please do yourself that favor. This franchise isn't worth the time of day. Go before your legacy gets hurt anymore. You stay in Green Bay. Your legacy is going to continue to hurt. Yet another one seed wasted by the Packers. It really looked like they can get it done this year. You know, defense improved. Offense was still great. Aaron Rodgers was playing at an MVP level. They got the one seed again. They got it again. Everyone's like, okay, this time around, they're going to be in the NFC title game. They'll figure it out. But, oh, no, no, no. All of a sudden, the Packers, and specifically Aaron Rodgers, had to meet his kryptonite here, the San Francisco 49ers. Did you know coming into this game, Aaron Rodgers is 0-3 against the Niners in the postseason? Wow, now he's 0-4! A consistent issue with this team over Aaron Rodgers' time has been defense failing to make stops in crucial situations, players failing to make plays in crucial situations, but most importantly, special teams finding a way to cost their team the game. And guess what? Special teams did that today. This Packers special teams has been having issues throughout the season. We all know it. We all pointed it out. We all said, y'all better get that situation straight. You better figure that out because that can harm you in the playoffs. And look what happened. It harmed you in the postseason. So what do we got to say about this game? Offensively for the Packers, you got 10 points. You got Aaron Rodgers out there with Devontae Adams and Aaron Jones and Dylan was there and Scanling was there. And Cobb was there. You have all this talent. 10 points at home in a playoff game. 10 points? Hey, Rod, I said you got to go, but you got to get some smoke too. Bro, 10 points? Really? I understand the Niners' defense is fantastic. But 10 points? You can only get 10 points with the talent you have on offense? 10 points? Are you serious right now? 10 points. There was drops left and right, but guess what? The Niners players had drops as well. That's not an excuse. 10 points on offense. That's what you got here from A-Rod and the Packers. 10 points on offense. Disgraceful. Embarrassing. Opening drive. You go down the field and score a touchdown. Fantastic start to the game. Well, unfortunately... That would be your best drive of the entire game. You wouldn't get another touchdown for the rest of the game. You would struggle. Rest of the first half, Rodgers getting sacks left and right, players dropping the ball, not being able to convert. Punt, 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 punt. Here we go just before halftime. You get a big play. Aaron Rodgers on third and three, connects down the field with Aaron Jones. He gets you down inside the 30-yard line, you're in striking distance to get into the end zone, and guess what happens? Aaron Rodgers gets stripped, and it's fumbled, but the Packers retain it. Okay, well, game hasn't been going the way you want it to, but you're still up 7 to nothing. Maybe you can go in and get yourself a field goal and get yourself uh, extra three points. What ends up happening? This damn special teams comes back and bites them hard. Blocked field goal by the Niners just before halftime. Blocked field goal. Are you kidding me? Blocked field goal. You come up with no points from that possession. You get down within striking distance with plenty of time. But that Niners defense swarms in, forces a fumble on Rodgers, pushes you guys back. You get the spike. At least you can get three going into halftime. Nope. Blocked field goal. So what ends up happening? You come out here in the second half and you put up, what was it? What was it? 54 yards of total offense in the second half and three points? Are you serious right now? 
You were supposed to be Super Bowl contenders. You were the number one seed once again. And you choke like this in your house? Three points of offense in the second half. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? Rodgers throws no interceptions. But you get three points of offense in a whole half? With all this talent here? Are you serious? Are you serious, Green Bay? Are you serious? I'm disappointed. I'm disgusted. A-Rod, I don't know what you were doing. It's not really all your fault. But there were some plays you probably... There were some throws you probably could have made. There were some plays you probably could have made. There were some times where you probably should have just thrown the ball out of bounds. Instead of trying to hold on to the ball. There were some things here. Some things I can nitpick about Aaron Rodgers. And obviously he's going to be held accountable. You're the leader of this offense. You're the quarterback. How do you put up 10 points of offense? How? But at the same time... Offensive line couldn't protect him. He was getting sacked left and right all damn day. Punt, 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 punt. That was the majority of the game for the Packers. Nothing but punts. Disgusted. Disgraceful. Embarrassing. I don't know what else I could possibly say about that offense. And the sad part about it is their defense showed up today. Yes, they just gave up that game-winning field goal to send the Niners to the NFC title game. Yeah. But if you look at it, that is six points of offense they gave up today. Six. They gave up six points of offense. Six. I, you can say whatever you want about the Packers' defense at that final drive, letting them get into field goal range. But you got to understand, up until that final moment, they held the Niners' offense to three points. Three. They got a pick off of Garoppolo at the goal line. They were doing their job. For once, it wasn't a Packers defense that cost them the game. They were doing their damn job. At, by the end of the game, they had to be gassed. With the amount of times you were getting punts left and right, short drive here, short drive here, punt, 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 punt. With all these punts from the Packers offense, of course they're going to be tired. What else would be different? They're going to be worn down because they're on the field for so long. And considering the fact that the Niners are a running team and all they were doing was running the football, at some point, your defense is going to get worn down. So I'm not going to hold it on the Packers' defense. They did their job. They gave up six total points of offense today. That is not their fault. That is not their fault at all. So Packers' defense, you got to Garoppolo several times. You were sacking him. You forced him to turn the ball over at the goal line. You were making plays all day. You just got tired. Why? Because your offense gave you no help in this game. For once, it wasn't the Packers' defense fault. You gotta look more towards the offense, or you can look at this putrid special teams here that truly cost them the game. Let's get into it. So we already talked about how bad they were in the first half to give up that blocked field goal. That's three points they lost that they could have taken with them to halftime. How did they decide to top themselves? We're in the fourth quarter. Nothing's happening, okay? Nothing's happening. It's a 10-3 game at this point. Eventually, they, they, they're able to get a field goal. Of course, Niners, they come out. They get themselves a field goal. But it's a 10-3 game. About six minutes left to go. Rodgers continuing to try and get them somewhere. Once again, they do nothing with the ball. Time to punt it. So now we're under five minutes. Clock starting to tick. The punt comes. And my God, the protection for the punter, for the punter was absolute garbage. The Niners were able to get a blocked punt. The punt was blocked. What made it 10 times worse was the fact that all the people on special teams, all the Packers people on special teams, any Packers special teams player that was around there was completely lost. The ball was just sitting there. Eventually, a Niners player realized it. He takes it, scoops it up, scores. And just like that, it's a 10-10 game. So let me get this straight. Your special teams gives up a blocked field goal, which is three points you don't get. And then they give up a block punt that results in a touchdown? Are you serious? Are you actually serious, Green Bay? You're the number one seed you're playing like this? Are you serious right now? I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I'm, I'm astounded. I am shocked. <laughs> they did it again. They choked. They choke just like every year. The one seed doesn't matter to these guys because they'll find a way to choke. They choke more at home than they do on the road. Which is not saying much because they still choke on the road. So you got an offense that gives you 10 points and virtually nothing. Aaron Rodgers doesn't do much for this game. He's just a bunch of passing yards. That's it. You got a defense that plays probably the best defensive performance they've played in a decade. 
and it's wasted because the special teams cannot block. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I can't wait to see what Matt's going to say about this. Can't wait for the press conference. Hey, LaFord, what are you going to say? What are you going to say, Matt? What are you going to say? What are you going to say, Matt? What are you going to say? Your special teams is horrible today. What are you going to say? I can't wait to hear what Matt's going to say. Matter of fact, I can't wait to hear what Aaron Rodgers was going to say. There were times where it just looked like Aaron Rodgers was just done. If some people come out and say that Aaron Rodgers packed it in in this playoff game, I would not be surprised. We'll see. If Aaron Rodgers is out of here, that would probably be leaning more towards he just packed it in. But if he's still here, that means he just straight up choked just like everyone else. Because his offense got, they put up 10 points. 10 points of offense in a playoff game with Aaron Rodgers. I can't believe it. Really? 10 points? Fantastic. So we spoke about how the Niners choked. Let's speak, um, the Niners, not the Niners, my bad. We spoke about how the Packers choked. Let's speak about how the Niners were able to get it done. So the Niners, once again, found a way to win uh, with defense and running the football. You know, the best, the Niners are at their best as a team when they're not throwing the football with Garoppolo. If you put the ball in the hands of your best player, like a Debo Samuel, put it in Kittle's hand, just run the football, you're going to be very effective. And that's what the Niners do best. So that's fantastic. Uh, first half, they didn't really do much of anything. You know, they struggled. They tried to get something going. They were at the goal line, but Garoppolo threw a pick. He actually was... He was up and down again. He was iffy as usual. He threw a pick, but there were several passes that he put on target that were big plays down the field that people weren't making. I mean, Debo dropped the pass. Kittle dropped a big pass when he was down the field. It, just, it was just up and down with the passing game. But we knew if the Niners were going to win, they had to dominate with their defense, and they had to run the football. That's exactly what they did. They ran the football. They utilized Debo Samuel a lot, and he continued to carve up this team, man. Couldn't stop them. Couldn't stop the run game. The Packers have yet to figure out how to stop the run game, and I don't think they're going to figure it out anytime soon. So the run game is just going. You get to the second half. Niners get the ball first. They go down the field. Unfortunately, they're getting sacked. They get stopped because Garoppolo gets taken down yet again. Another sack. By the way, Garoppolo was sacked probably just as much as Aaron Rodgers was sacked. So there was not much of a difference. Both quarterbacks got sacked a lot. Both quarterbacks had their receivers drop multiple passes. There's not much of a difference here. It was a very poor offensive game for both teams. The difference makers were special teams. So, yeah, they get that three points here. Obviously, before the half, like I said, Niners special teams came up fantastic. They blocked the field goal and headed to half without giving up that field goal. Of course, Niners go out. They put up three points. It's a 7-3 game. It's a 7-3 um, game here. Eventually, Packers do find a way to get themselves into field goal range. They make it a 10-3 game. Then they're just starting to exchange punts back and forth. Garoppolo's not able to do anything. He's getting sacked. Players are dropping passes. Rodgers isn't able to do anything. He's getting sacked. Players are dropping passes. So then we get to the fourth quarter. Once again, it's a back and forth affair. And, you know, it gets down to where it's about seven minutes left to go in the game. They're inside field goal range at the cusp of getting into the red zone. It's fourth down and one. It's fourth and one. They choose to run the ball. And the Packers defense makes a stop. Turn over on downs. Packers ball with seven to play. I heard a lot of people in the chat saying, it's over, it's over, Packers got this, Packers got it. I told them, you don't know how the Packers play in the postseason. They don't got nothing. Unless A-Rod goes down the field and closes this game, it's far from over, especially when these two teams match up. So, just like I thought, Packers got the ball back, 3-0, and out, and then the Niners make the play of the day. Their special teams truly came up tough. If the offense wasn't going to do anything, the defense and the special teams was going to show up. And the special teams made the biggest play of the game. They cause a punt block, and it gets returned for a touchdown. All of a sudden, a 10-3 game with about five minutes left to go turns into a tie game. And now A-Rod's got to figure out how he's going to get this team down the field to score. So special teams came up clutch. They were fantastic. Best performance they've had all season, you can make the argument. And yeah, they came up when their team needed the most. So A-Rod gets the ball, proceeds to do absolutely nothing with it. And then the Niners get the ball back for their final drive, in which they just start moving the ball downfield. Pass here to Kittle, first down, handing it to Samuel, first down. But here's what gets me the most. And if there's anything I can say about the Packers defense that I got to hold them accountable for, I'm not going to hold them accountable for anything involving everything happened before this moment. They play fantastic defense. And even afterwards, they still play great defense. And it, it was just unfortunate they couldn't make the stop. But here it is. Game on the line. Season on the line. We all knew what the Niners were going to do. You knew what the Niners were going to do. They were going to run the ball. The Packers defense knew the Niners were going to run the ball. The Niners themselves knew they were going to run the ball. Both 
teams knew the Niners were going to run the ball. Everybody in Lambeau Field knew the Niners were going to run the football. Everybody watching this game at home knew the Niners were going to run the football. It was third down and seven. How do you let them pick up a first down? They give it to Samuel, and he just takes it for the first down. How does the Packers defense give up that play in that moment? That's the only thing I got to criticize this defense for. Third and long, if you make a stop there, they can still kick a field goal, but you'll still have time left. And you can Aaron Rodgers time, maybe you could force this into overtime. But the fact that on third and long, you gave up the first down on a run when everybody and their mother knew they were going to run? What happened? What happened? I really got to know what happened to make you give up that run on third and long. I don't understand. That's the only thing I got to say about this defense. Other than that, they played flawless. They're not the reason they lost. It's that damn special teams of theirs that, that cost them this game. And the fact that their offense put up 10 points of offense. When you have freaking Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, you got Cobb, you got Jones, you got Dillon's playing the game. You put up 10 points on offense? Are you serious? Okay. So they give up the first down. They pick up a couple extra yards. They bring out the kicker. He kicks it completely clean right through the uprights. And then San Francisco 49ers are heading back to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm going way ahead. I'm, I'm not even here right now. They're heading to the NFC Championship game. Depending on how they play, they may be heading to the Super Bowl. Because, you know, with the way Tampa Bay's offense is looking, I don't know. Tampa Bay's offense is kind of just depleted. It's depleted right now. And if, if they meet the Niners on a good day, then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers could be in trouble. As for the Rams, we know how inconsistent Matthew Stafford is. So honestly, I can really see the Niners pulling this off and getting back to the Super Bowl. But they're not there yet. My mind is just so gone because I'm so pissed off at this Packers. They get the kick. It's good. And the San Francisco 49ers are heading to the NFC Championship game. That's what I meant to say. Not bad for them. You know, they got to the Super Bowl in 2019, suffered the injuries in 2020, and now they're back to the NFC title game in 2021. Well, the 2021-2022 season, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, fantastic job for them. Congratulations to the Niners pulling it off. You came up clutch against the Cowboys. You came up clutch here against the Packers. And now when you look at Tampa Bay and their problems on offense, and you look at the Rams and how inconsistent Matthew Stafford is, you guys have a legitimate shot to get to the Super Bowl. We'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, congrats to the Niners. As for the Packers, I'm so disgusted. Aaron, Aaron, do yourself a favor, leave. Do yourself a favor and leave before you have another year of disappointment in the playoffs. Leave. Go to Denver. Go somewhere else. Just get away from the Packers as fast as you can. I'm disgusted. But with that being said, I'm going to cut it here. I'm not about to say anything more about the Packers. They choke for the third straight year. What an embarrassment. What a disgrace. What a joke. I'm done, man. That being said, that is all I got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.